<laughs> Go back to Alex. Uh, Jack, um, we have a lot of different things going on. And I can't see. Oh, Alex. Got a lot of different things going on in golf. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's hard to miss, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But my hair, but my hair looks good. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah I, I'm glad. I'm glad about that, Alex. <laughs> There's a lot of different things Somebody going on. Somebody gave him a little bit of powder. There's a little glare coming out. <laughs> a producer now. Um, between the VJ issues, suing the tour, drug program, the anchoring things, the fact that certain players uh, publicly made it known that they're not really happy with each other, we all think that this is kind of new to golf. Can you talk about your days and if this is actually that new to golf? Well, we were trying to figure out how to get somebody to write about anything when we played. Mm -hmm. And I think today you've got to try to figure out how do you keep somebody from writing about anything. It's a big difference. I mean, uh, you know, I've never had any issues with you guys here because I think I've try tried, to, uh, tried to work with you and tried to do what, what, what you've asked ask for. I, and I've always handled the press that way. I've always said, you know, you guys have got a job to do. And... Uh, I said, I think it's my job to be able to spend the time with you that is necessary for me to spend the time to be able to, for you to get your information. And, but in, 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 uh, in turn for that, you've really never, nobody's really ever hammered me very often. Occasionally a guy, a new guy comes on the block and they hammer you for something. And you sort of say, okay, you consider the source and you forget it. Uh, but for the most part today, you're in a fishbowl. And when, uh, you know, if you, if you, if there's something happens, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I, I always harp on Mike and Mike. Right? I happen to like the show and I happen to like, like listen to it. But they get onto a subject, and that subject is all week. And, you know, and, and a lot of people listen to it. So then, then a lot of people write about it. You, and you guys write about something, and, and you know, you, you're, news services are sent all over the place. And, it's, and, and, and there's, there's a lot of mountains made out of molehills, you know. And it's, um, it's just a, it's a different day. Uh, everybody is ha everybody is is uh, is there, in, and that's uh, uh, everything's public. So you know, I don't I don't blame the guys from sometimes from getting being a little quiet and so forth and so on. I mean, you were talking uh, your first step was VJ, I think, uh, and uh, you know, I don't really know anything about the the VJ thing. Uh, I have frankly zero, uh, and. Uh, uh, so I really don't have a comment on that because I don't have one. But then you asked me about the... Uh, yeah, I think my question is more about what's it like back in the day when you were playing? Were there a lot of things that happened that are similar to today that we didn't know about because people didn't talk about it? So well, no, but you, uh, if I would go have dinner with, with Shed uh, 30 years ago and we sat there and talked about all the gossip that was going on and so forth and so on, it would never appear in the newspaper the next day. Or if anybody even heard it overhead. I mean... I mean, there was an article in the New York Times from the Masters about me, about saying that Tiger doesn't talk to me. I was asked the question of how much has Tiger talked to me about his record? Hmm. And I said, we haven't had more than a minute or two conversation about that ever. So all that comes out in the article comes out, the guy wasn't even there. The article comes out, Tiger doesn't talk to Jack and they've never had more than a minute or two conversation. Well, I've talked to Tiger a lot. You know, but not about that subject. And that was the, that was the question I answered. So, you know, it, it, things get moved beyond where they are. I mean, the Sergio uh, Tiger thing, I mean, it's stupid. I mean, the guys, the guys, you know, do guys, do guys have an issue one with another thing? It, they usually resolve it themselves. You guys want to resolve it in the newspapers today. I mean, nobody needs to have that. You know? And I think they both said, you know, finally said, it's enough of it. Forget it, guys. Let's move on. You know, that, that's, sort of the, that, that's sort of the stuff. We, we had, in our days, we had, uh, um, you know, I, I, I suppose there was times when you had an issue with somebody and it, it came about, you never read about it. Because you guys, there wasn't 20 people sitting around for one guy to write it. Is that what you're talking about? We never really had issues in those days. And we had an old guard that followed the tour. I mean, Bob Green followed the tour, and you had, uh, I mean, back the major champion, you had Pat Ward Thomas, and you had, uh, well, Kay Kessler, and you had, uh, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean uh, Dick Taylor, the guy, guys, you, you know, uh, Herbert Warren Wynn, those guys. 
they're an interest, they were interested in writing. They were interested in writing about what happened, not gossip. And, that, and we didn't have an issue with it. It was never, it was never, it was never an issue, Alex. It really wasn't. In the front. Jack, I have a state of the game question. Um, 10, 12 years ago, it seems like golf courses were just booming, construction and so forth. Uh, I know in our community, one's closed and one's gone from 36 to 18. Just if you could speak to maybe the industry and where it's headed or, you know, participation, that sort of thing. Well, uh, you know, I think the tour is very healthy. I think the tour has done very well. Uh, the game of golf in itself has uh, uh, lost a lot of players. I don't know, some five million or so regular golfers have left the game. We've lost, uh, uh, I think it's, what is it, 23 or 4% of the women, 27% of the women, 36% of the kids in the last five years. Uh, why are we doing that? A part of it's economy, part of it's uh, expense of the game, part of it is, is, is that life has changed. People, uh, people don't uh, uh, want to spend five hours doing something anymore. They want to play, do something. Any any game that you play, any you go to, you go to any sporting event, almost anything. Nothing, nothing lasts other than golf. More than unless you're playing a five-set tennis match, more than uh, uh, more than three hours or less. So you really need to play the game in three hours or less. That's what we need to be, and we're not there. We're not. We we, we need to have changes within the game of golf, for not only for 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 us. Now for the tour, I think the tour ultimately needs to, to shorten, shorten their time span. I don't think they would argue with that. Uh, but it's very difficult when they're playing 7,500 yards and you're playing in a, in a competition on a very difficult golf course. You're, you're asking for the best players in the world to do their best, and it takes time to do what they're doing at that, at that length of the golf course. Um, but the, and the average golfer follows that. Uh, so time is one, one issue. Um, uh, difficulty is another issue. Cost is another issue. Uh, all those things are, are why those golf courses have left are because of a combination of those things. Uh, the design business within the United States is absolutely zero today. The only thing that, the only thing that is happening in design is, is a redesign of something, of an existing facility, and trying to, because they had the opportunity to take a facility, brand it, or take a facility and, and redo it in, in, a, in a good location to try to compete because the market is not as strong and they think they can compete if they do something. That's about the only thing that's, that's here. Overseas, the game is, is growing in a lot of places. Um, I mean, most of the business is in China today from a design standpoint, and we've got probably 30 golf courses that are, that are under contract. We get probably 15 to 20 under construction in China right now. And it's, I mean, it's, it's you know, I've, got, I've got four in Russia. And so, you know, it's, uh, um, you know, the game is growing over there, and it's growing, and, but, but, it's, but it's in its infancy. We're, we're at a, mat a mature state, so the places that are mature here, and Britain, Japan, there's no work in those places from golf store state design. Um, the, uh, um, I mean, there's talk, I know the USGA has talked about the reduction, I think they've got their plate full right now with what they're trying to get through with the anchoring putter, but they, uh, they've they talked about the, the golf ball and, and bringing the golf ball back. And they don't bring it, want to bring it back necessarily for tournament golf, that's not the reason they want to talk about bringing it back. They're, they want to talk about bringing it back because of, because the, because the, of, uh, of the cost of maintenance, the cost of, uh, um, land, cost of water, cost of chemical, uh, the time the time it takes to play the game, all logical things that I mean if you reduce the game to a smaller playing field, and if you go back and look, how many how how big is Marion? It'll play sixty nine ninety six for the open. Huh? Sixty nine ninety six. No no no, no 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 no. How many acres? One hundred and fifteen. Is it that many? Okay, 115 acres. What's St. Andrews? 95 acres, something like that. What's uh, uh, you know a lot of the old golf courses are all on 100 to 120 acres of golf of land. You need 160 plus acres to do a golf course today. Uh, you know, I mean, the, uh, the whole thing is basically saying we've obsoleted uh, uh, 
17,000 golf courses. Augusta is the only place that's had enough money to stay up with it. And they've spent a fortune to try to keep the game going. And they've done a very, very good job of not being, uh, of eliminating obsolescence. They, they, they're keeping up to date. They've done a good job of that. And, you know, but, no, but nobody has enough money to do that. So you need to go the other way to bring it back to have everything else sort of fall into categories, sort, sort of where we end up having the 17,000 golf courses we have in the United, in the United States, not, and having probably 20 of them being really, without having to really mess them up to play a tournament on, uh, you don't, if, you, if, you, if you brought the golf ball back, you would be able to do that. So I don't know what the USG is going to do in the RNA. I know they're talking about it. You, know, you guys know they're talking about it. And uh, so, but, but you know, and I'm not sure that the tour really wants that, but, uh, but it's, it's, I don't, I really, that's not my issue here. The issue is what is best for the game of golf? And that's really what you're asking me. And why are, why are we losing golf courses? What can we do about it? Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to, I mean, a lot of the first tee programs to bring kids into the game. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the we're going to talk about it here shortly. The, uh, Jack Nixon, what they call learning leagues. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of things that we're trying to do that try to bring people into the game and keep them in the game. And I mean, as fast as we bring people in the game, we lose more. And that's, what, and that's not a healthy situation for the game of golf. So that's where we got to get to.